out in the NFC West and the Seattle Seahawks beat the 49ers today. And this is this could be a huge momentum shift out in the West, but Jimmy G goes down and the offense just flat out struggled with Jimmy G at the helm. Can the 49ers fans calm down about this Trey Lance talk now, Combs? They should, and they should have calmed down about it before now. Uh, look, Jimmy G is a very good quarterback. Uh, he is a quarterback who just two years ago led this team to a Super Bowl. And, you know, hopefully, you know, it's it's not too serious. Hopefully he can come back from this, uh, whatever injury this is quickly and, and get back at the helm. But, look, you saw when Jimmy G went out, that was a completely different San Francisco 49ers team. Just completely different. They could not, they struggled to move the ball under Trey Lance and you know look the the Seattle Seahawks are a good team I mean there's no doubt about it the Seattle Seahawks does the entire NFC West is is good and I just I think that the 49ers without Jimmy G I I, I don't think that they win eight games but with Jimmy G I have them as a 14 win team yeah, 15 uh, win team. Yeah, so if you guys look at this, I mean, obviously, you know, we don't know what next week is is going to hold and 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 like how bad this Jimmy G injury is per se. But when a backup quarterback comes in mid 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 game and expected to perform, you know, there are there are always two spectrums of the coin here. We see what Henneke did in the playoff game versus the Bucks. He played out of his mind. He 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 played great, and he kept the he and he kept the football team in striking distance like the whole game. Of course, they had a great defense. But then you are also on the other side of that where you just shit the bed, and and that's what Trey Lance did. Trey Lance shit the bed today, and like and like I don't know Combs if it like if it was the energy or like the oh shit I'm in, and he wasn't prepared wasn't per wasn't per prepared but that falls on the coaching staff if he wasn't prepared i mean yes i know in the regular season backup quarterbacks get very few reps they're usually playing scout scout team like 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 at this point but if we have watched jimmy g play when's the last time he had a full season never right i, I don't think he's never had a full 17 games or sixteen games where he's that, that has Super Bowl season he he played the full season didn't he maybe I like I don't know but but he is injury prone so Trey Lance in the back of the head you have to be ready to play at any given time now with all that Trey Lance talk because Drew comes in and says it, it's a calf injury calf injuries are very hard to get over so let's say Trey Lance is going to start next next week. He has a half of football under his belt as this is his team. We've seen the improvement that Justin Fields did from week one to week two as a starter. Now, let's see if Trey Lance can mock that right. Can can Trey Lance take that two quarters of football that he had and explode it into the next into the next into the next game? I don't know who the, who they play. I don't look at their schedule, but th- you are never going to stop hearing the Trey Lance talk until he fails you as a starter because he, because he came in as a backup Combs and he didn't fail you. So that's the biggest thing. 